Good morning. We'll start with uh, two short statements by the Secretary General and the Chairman, and then both will be happy to take just a couple of questions. Secretary General. Mr. Chairman, uh, first of all, let me welcome you to the NATO headquarters. It's uh, great to meet you uh, again. And uh, Bosnia-Herzegovina is an uh, important partner for the NATO uh, alliance. And uh, Bosnia-Herzegovina is a candidate for uh, NATO membership, and our partnership dates back many years. And your country makes a significant uh, contribution to our common security, to a clear commitment to regional dialogue and cooperation, and to uh, your participation in NATO's mission in uh, Afghanistan. I want to take our relationship uh, uh, forward, and uh, we want to do that uh, together. Uh, NATO is and remains uh, uh, committed to stability in the Western Balkans. Today, we discuss the crucial reforms that uh, Bosnia-Herzegovina is making, and I welcome what has been achieved so far in reforming the defense uh, and security sector, and I count on you uh, to continue on the path of reforms. Full integration into the Euro-Atlantic family takes time and effort, but it is uh, worth it, because it leads to greater security and greater prosperity. Activation of the membership action plan remains an important uh, issue. It will be a positive step for your reform agenda. NATO stands ready to activate the membership action plan once all defense uh, properties have been registered uh, to the state. Bosnia and Herzegovina needs to keep moving forward with this effort. I welcome uh, the recent uh, guidance by the presidency uh, on your defense review. We would like to see the review completed as soon as possible, including a plan for modernization of the armed forces. Bosnia-Herzegovina has the necessary tools to move towards NATO membership. We will continue to help you move towards the alliance. I call upon all leaders uh, of Bosnia and Herzegovina to work constructively for the benefit uh, of all citizens and to undertake the reforms that are necessary for your country to realize its Euro-Atlantic uh, aspirations. Let me then uh, also add uh, some very few words uh, about the US uh, elections. I congratulate uh, Donald Trump uh, on his uh, election as the next uh, president uh, of the, the United States. And I look forward to working with him. And uh, it is important that the uh, bonds across uh, uh, the, uh, the transatlantic bond remain strong. And uh, we face a challenging new security environment, uh, hybrid uh, warfare, cyber attacks, and the threat of terrorism. U.S. leadership uh, is as important as ever. Our alliance has brought together America's closest friends in times of peace and of conflict for almost uh, 70 years. A strong NATO is good for the United States, and it is good for Europe. NATO has responded with determination to the new security situation. But we have more work to do. And I look forward to meeting Mr. Trump soon and welcoming him to Brussels for the NATO summit next year to discuss the way uh, forward. So with that, Mr. Chairman, I give the floor to you. Thank you very, very much, Mr. Stoltenberg. I will uh, speak in my language. Well, I would like to join in congratulations to President Trump 
And I wish that uh, he will uh, lead the United States in the best way possible in his uh, term of office ahead, and that uh, cooperation will continue. We are allies of uh, the United States. The United States uh, gave us firm support in the realization of peace, and especially uh, in our path to NATO. So I expect this cooperation to continue. Today, we had a uh, good meeting here in NATO with Mr. Stoltenberg and his colleagues. I uh, stressed some of the things and some of the facts that uh, Mr. Stoltenberg is already aware of. He knows that Bosnia-Herzegovina has registered a uh, host of uh, military sites and the initial sites in Republika Srpska. But uh, what should be stressed is that this is no longer a political issue, uh, an issue of agreements. It's, uh, it's an issue of the rule of law, the registration of the remaining sites, and uh, we need to work on the collection of documentation. The armed forces are in possession in the barracks, and uh, of the things uh, as required under the Talon uh, condition. So there's the decision of the national court that this is all in possession of the state. And uh, so the collection of documentation, legal documentation, might take some time. We might change some of the sites. Uh, but uh, the, this matter in principle has been resolved. And uh, the situation is similar with the defense review, which is another requirement uh, to activate my and to have the first annual plan. We have uh, harmonized the first five chapters. We have a uh, very uh, precise instructions by the presidency to the defense ministry, and we expect the defense review to be completed by the end of this month. We think that NATO should keep in mind that in the region and in Bosnia and Herzegovina, uh, certain negative uh, processes are happening, and a strong message needs to be sent that Bosnia and Herzegovina is moving forward to NATO membership through the activation of MAP. So we need to keep in mind all of these things. We need to accelerate these processes. And I hope that the progress will be made already uh, next month. I also propose that NATO work together with the entire region. There are reasons uh, to develop special mechanisms of cooperation and uh, information exchange and joint activities with all the countries in the region to help us within the region to cooperate better. In that sense, I think that we need uh, in certain uh, points of high priority, we need to uh, build a joint policy for action and to share the institutional burden. All the countries in the region should coordinate an institutional form of cooperation. We need a framework mechanism to uh, plan coordination, and what I propose to the General Secretary, to Secretary General, would be a special partnership agreement between Balkans and NATO, uh, between West Balkans and NATO, and that would be to develop uh, interoperability and uh, cooperation between the region and NATO, support to civilian authorities, and uh, nat uh, for natural uh, for military response to natural disasters. Uh, fight against extremism, radicalism, and terrorism, joint exercises, uh, crisis planning, establishment of cross-border procedures uh, to provide mutual assistance in the security sector, and so on. As I said, the uh, stronger influence of certain forces that are against the European path of Bosnia and Herzegovina, against uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina's NATO path, I think that Bosnia and Herzegovina needs to be helped uh, there to move out of the current standstill. Reuters. Want to, <clears throat> Robin Emmett from Reuters over here. Secretary General, what does an election victory for Donald, Donald Trump's election victory, sorry, what does that mean for NATO given that he explicitly set conditions for defending allies, basically saying those who don't pay up will not be defended? Thank you. NATO's uh, security guarantee uh, is a treaty commitment uh, and uh, all allies have uh, made a solemn commitment, uh, a solemn commitment to defend uh, each other. And uh, this is uh, something which is absolute and it's unconditioned. Uh, the NATO security guarantees are important for uh, Europe. Uh, 
but they are also important for the United States. Uh, so a strong NATO is important for Europe, but it's also important for the United States. And we have to remember that the only time that we have invoked uh, Article 5, our collective defense clause, is after an attack on the United States, after 9-11. And uh, thousands of uh, uh, NATO soldiers, also from uh, uh, Europe, Canada, and also partner nations, have uh, uh, been deployed and have uh, contributed to uh, the efforts of the whole alliance uh, to fight terrorism uh, in Afghanistan. And, uh, and uh, NATO continues to provide uh, support, uh, not only for the efforts uh, of uh, our mission in Afghanistan, but also provide support to the US-led coalition fighting uh, ISIL. Uh, we have just decided to provide, for instance, AWACS uh, surveillance planes as a direct support to the uh, coalition fighting uh, ISIL, and we uh, train Iraqi uh, officers. That just underlines that uh, NATO is important both for collective defense in Europe but also to uh, provide help and, pay, and, and play a key role in the fight against uh, international uh, terrorism. And, uh, and therefore, I'm looking forward to work uh, with uh, President-elect uh, Trump. And uh, I look forward to welcoming him to Brussels at our next uh, summit uh, uh, next year, and also to meet him soon uh, to discuss the way forward and how uh, we can strengthen uh, the transatlantic bomb in uh, challenging uh, times with a new and more challenging uh, security environment. Bosnian TV. Um, Elgir Butzel of Bosnia State Television. Since anyone else will ask you about uh, American election, I will stick to Bosnia. So Bosnia membership action plan and the Tallinn preconditions. Uh, European Union recently switched to the more realistic approach to Bosnia. Is it the time for NATO to do the same? I'm not talking about the change in uh, telling preconditions, but changing the way how NATO is considering the, the efforts uh, from Bosnian sides. Thank you. So that's the question for both of us. Okay. So NATO remains fully supported of uh, the membership aspiration of Bosnia-Herzegovina, and uh, we will uh, continue to support uh, Bosnia-Herzegovina implementing the necessary reforms. And I just discussed with uh, Chairman uh, Isabegovic how we can step up and increase our uh, support for Bosnia and Herzegovina. Uh, we have the uh, different uh, partnership programs which are uh, addressing exactly how we can help uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina. And uh, we are uh, uh, working on uh, the implementation of the different uh, elements in that plan to make sure that we are uh, delivering as much support as possible uh, in support of uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina's uh, uh, Euro-Atlantic uh, integration. Uh, we still, of course, uh, focus on the importance of uh, implementing what is called the Tallinn uh, conditions, the registration of uh, uh, defense properties uh, by the state. Uh, and uh, uh, the chairman updated me on uh, progress which has been done there. And we will also at the foreign ministerial meeting of uh, NATO in December have a report uh, uh, on the Western Balkans, including the progress uh, which Bosnia Herzegovina is making uh, on implementing the necessary defense uh, reforms. Well, it's exactly the same idea and the parallel that I drew uh, as uh, Mr. Stolberg. I drew a comparison between what the EU did and uh, what the EU, uh, what NATO has not done so far. So they changed the sequence of the priorities from those easier ones to the most to the more uh, from the more difficult ones. When we rest that order, progress has been made in, in Bosnia. -Sky. So I asked uh, Mr. Stoltenberg to do the same on behalf of NATO. So if you have the... the, the, the so we have these uh, forces in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Why do we? Why should we put in their hands the mechanisms that can allow them to do that? So 
We have uh, the armed forces in all of the military uh, sites. There is the court decision that this is state-owned property, and registration has begun in Federation and Republic of Serbska, and the EU should do a similar approach and send a similar message about the perspective of Bosnia and the West Balkans. So the, uh, the opponents to these efforts should not uh, play with uh, white players in this, in this chess game. Trump has uh, articulated a different uh, sort of approach to Russia. Uh, a, do you expect uh, NATO to uh, change its tone or make any adjustments to the enhanced forward presence um, as uh, the Trump administration takes effect? And uh, to follow up on your last response, um, Mr. Trump has talked about a larger counterterrorism role for NATO, uh, which seems to suggest not just uh, the kinds of training that's been done in Afghanistan or in uh, Jordan, but an actual uh, bigger role in European counterterrorism. This is not something that's necessarily popular with other allies. Is there room for NATO to do more than what it's doing now to fight terrorism? NATO has already decided uh, to uh, step up its efforts uh, to provide support to the coalition fighting ISIL. And we uh, decided to uh, maintain our presence in Afghanistan, which is our uh, biggest military operation. And, it's, uh, and we are in Afghanistan to fight the terrorism, uh, to prevent Afghanistan becoming a safe haven for international uh, terrorists. Uh, then, uh, of course, we will always assess how we can uh, uh, do more, uh, both to stabilize our neighborhood, to fight terrorism, but also, of course, uh, provide the necessary collective defense in Europe, uh, making sure that we provide the necessary uh, deterrence. Uh, and uh, that's the reason why I'm looking forward to meet uh, President-elect uh, Trump, uh, to sit down with him and to discuss the way forward, and uh, also to welcoming uh, President-elect Trump to our next uh, summit here in Brussels. Uh, because that provides the platform, that provides the opportunities to sit down with a uh, new uh, US president and discuss how we can all live up to uh, what is uh, our uh, treaty commitment uh, to provide uh, collective defense based on uh, the idea of uh, all for one, uh, one for all. And uh, to be able to do that, we have to respond and to adapt to a more uh, demanding uh, security environment, including hybrid threats, uh, terrorist uh, threats, uh, cyber attacks, and many other kinds of uh, threats and challenges. So this is something uh, we are working on in NATO. We have made important decisions. We are implementing decisions. And uh, I congratulate Donald Trump on his uh, election as president. And I'm looking forward to work with him on all these important issues and to discuss the way forward when we uh, meet. This concludes this press point. The Secretary General will be back uh, at around 11.30 with the President of Finland. Thank you very much.